Okay, so fix a lot here. I've got a 2002 S2000. I'm going to be replacing the steering wheel. Uh, the one that I have is n in not, you know, so good a shape. So I uh, found this one used on Craigslist. And, you know, it has, it has much better kind of seams here um, than, than mine. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this one also has the uh, cruise control option, which mine has. So um, I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of emery cloth, you know, right here around the around the hub itself. Um, once I clean that up, I'm going to lightly grease it, just the splines themselves, uh, with a little bit of Honda uh, high temp urea grease. Uh, just kind of a light coating there. Tools that you're going to need are uh, essentially a 14 millimeter socket. Um, you can you can go in with a 3 8 inch drive like this. Um, if you need more leverage, you can use a half inch drive, uh, depending on how tight the previous owner or the factory has put it on. Um, and then same thing, you can torque it back on with this. I would recommend somewhere around, you know, 50 to 60 foot pounds or something like that. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is on the back of these there are covers. There's a large one here on the left side and a small one here on the right side. Um, you're going to have to pick the covers off with maybe a little bit of a pick or you can actually use your fingernail and just kind of pull off the covers. And then behind there will be the connections. Uh, the, it's a Torx uh, T30 uh, for the airbag. And so I'm going to use this Torx wrench in order to undo those. To prevent the airbag from accidentally deploying, go into the engine bay and um, undo the negative terminal with a 10 millimeter wrench and put it aside. There's a little tab over here on the forward edge of the large cover. Um, if you come into it with the with the pick, you'll be able to essentially pull it straight out. So the way this is set up, the way this is set up is there are two tabs here that insert into these, this section here and then on the other side it just snaps. So you're, you're pulling it away from the snaps and then, and then pulling it straight out. And here's the other side. Same thing, you're, you're pulling it from from this edge here you're pulling it out and then you have the tab here that inserts in so this just comes out it's a real simple procedure I've turned the wheel a little bit to the right and this is your airbag connector you just kind of pull it out of its bracket and then this here is a sliding mechanism that goes up and then you can release it so I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I'm, I'm basically pushing it up like this and then pulling on the connector below. So once this goes up, it'll release this connector. And then now, now you have it loose. So once you pull the airbag out, then, then this part will go with the airbag. Once the airbag has been uh, disconnected, you can just pull it out like this and this will expose the steering wheel, the 14 millimeter bolt here, which you're going to have to loosen. Um, only the last half inch of the steering wheel is splined. So just kind of loosen this and then start, you know, rocking this back and forth until you get it loose. Then take this all the way out and then pull the steering wheel. All right, I know this might be a little bit hard to see, but I've loosened up the wheel. You're gonna have to take out the cruise control switch here, and it's just a push button on one side, and then you pull it apart like this. So when you're pulling the steering wheel, you've got a couple wires here. Um, it's the airbag one, it's the cruise control, and also there's a ground over here that you kind of have to just push on it and pull back to disconnect like that. So it just, it just disconnects. 
by pushing on by pushing on this uh, this tab right here. So now all three of these can can pass through an opening that's right here. Um, and so I can take off the 14 millimeter bolt and this doesn't actually require a whole lot of torque. I think there was only like maybe 25 foot pounds or maybe 30 on this and that's it. Honda, fig Honda engineers have figured out that you don't have to have some monstrous uh, bolt to hold down the steering wheel. Um, so uh, in maybe in reassembly put a little bit of Loctite on it um, and then and then go ahead and assemble it but now you should be able to pull the wheel straight out just make sure that the wheel is clocked properly um, straight up and down and then when you insert the new one it'll come in basically um, at the same spot so you can see that I'm pulling it out right here and out comes the steering wheel the old steering wheel is on the right I hope you could see that it's it's pretty worn over here, especially on this left side. I don't know why. Um, the seams themselves, uh, material is is pulling back as well as coming undone. So this is why I'm making the switch. You can kind of see by the by the other wheel, it's in it's just in much better shape. It's kind of a uniform color. Also, um, what we need to do is pull out the the horn mechanism. That's this here. Um, and this will come out uh, with, a, with a couple of, uh, well actually three, hex screws and then um, you also have to take the, the plate out that supports the cruise control, cruise control switch. So all of that hardware needs to mount over here. Okay, there's three pieces that you want to remove. These are held on by five millimeter hex or allen um, wrench and, and you really don't need to put a lot of uh, torque on them when you put it back on maybe 10 pounds or something like that is mo at most and then um, use just a Phillips head screwdriver to remove this bracket that holds the cruise control um, plug so it comes out in this order it's first is this which is the cruise control holder next is the horn mechanism and be careful this this has some springs on them here you just want to make sure that they're in place when you put it back on and then the last thing is this bridge bar here this just comes straight out and and then you just transfer it over to uh, the new one here and again you start out with with the bridge bar itself then you put in the horn mechanism uh, and then finally you put in you know you screw down the um, uh, the cruise control holder now all the pieces are back in again these three here maybe 10 pounds at most of torque 10 foot pound or pound feet I'm going to put a little bit of the urea grease right inside where the splines are down here. Just kind of reach in, just put it just a just a light coating of it, and should be able to install this back into the car. Here is the clock spring. You just want to make sure that it's pointed straight up to the top. It is now. So these two pins go in right here into the steering wheel itself so you just gotta make sure that those line up um, it's not that important um, to do that right now you could kinda see that by moving this I'm moving the clock spring around so you wanna pull your your wires through here first and then look back here and make sure that you know it's it, it's basically lined up um, that it's kind of top dead center and then as you push your steering wheel through um, things should line up which they're not a hundred percent 
So the steering wheel is slightly off, but I'm going to guess that this one is is the right one. Okay, so now that it's kind of basically straight up and down, um, then you can go ahead and put in the 14 millimeter here, um, and then torque that down to about, I would say between 35 and 40 is all you need um, at most, because it's just a 14 millimeter. Um, and then go ahead and connect up your, your electricals. Here's the finished installed wheel next to the old wheel. I know it's a little difficult to see, but this older wheel has some fraying at the seams, has some uh, fading or discoloration on the left side here, so it's not in that great a shape. But uh, transferred all the parts over to the new one here, um, installed it, so uh, and then put the covers back on in the back after installing the um, airbag. Now just go ahead and connect up your negative terminal in the engine bay and fire it up.